Now we are hearing from homeowners who lost everything after riding out the record floods. And other neighbors returning to salvage whatever they can from their soaked homes. And Local 10's Andrew Perez live now in the Edgewater neighborhood of Fort Lauderdale with more today. Andrew. You know, residents out here cannot seem to catch a break. Take a walk with me. Earlier today, this street was bone dry. What you're looking at here, this is all from rain that passed through a little while ago. And as you see going down the street, house to house, all of this happening as residents are still trying to clean up. I just knew our whole life was out the door. Going to be on the curb here soon, you know what I mean? In 71, do you start all over? I don't know. Jack Grimm says it's hard to even know where to begin. He's just thankful his wife and his mother-in-law are okay after riding out those floodwaters on a kitchen counter. They were trapped and couldn't leave. Everybody was calling us saying, get out, get out. We said, where are we going to go? <laughs> swim with an 82-year-old woman? And we couldn't swim to the cars because the motors were underwater. Are these pictures? At his home, photos and documents are still sitting in the microwave where they were stored for safekeeping. All across his Edgewood neighborhood, neighbors starting to clean up now that the water has gone down. Many like Terry Lurge recalling the terrifying moments in bed with water steadily rising. I mean, it was lapping over the bed. Both of us were shaking from the cold and it was getting worse. We figured we got to try to tough it out. Thank God John came out. He's talking about his neighbor, John Foreman, who we featured on Friday here on Local 10 News. He rescued his wife and kids, then came back for his neighbors with some help and a kayak, pulling Terry, Jack, and their families. So they're calling 911. We called 911 as we're walking down, like, guys, you've got to get somebody out here. But unfortunately, they were overrun. This is the neighborhood that needs help, just north of 595, but they're also not alone. Melrose Park also floods coastal communities across Broward. The state emergency management director calling for more assessment teams now as local leaders call for resources. Supply trucks are here for food and water. Uh, tankers are here to be able to pump water out. Back out live, it's a horrible situation. I mean, the air even out here is still very stale. It's very musty, and a lot of residents are still trying to stay in their homes because they don't know where else to go. Fortunately, many say they do have homeowners insurance. However, for now, it's going to be out of pocket. That's the latest here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Uh, our hearts go out to them. My, oh, my. It's going to mm -hmm. be days, even weeks, possibly years of recovering. Andrew, thanks a lot.